Hi there, um, this is a follow up to the uh, last one I, video I did on the stereo encoder. So after much um, deliberation, I've decided to uh, mount it in the uh, Marconi signal generator, which is what you can see now. It's uh, just temporarily in place at the moment because I've got to drill another hole. Um, I've got one mounting screw there, which fortunately there was already a hole for. I've got to drill another one where the red dot is. And um, I've also put a relay on the board to um, disconnect it when the power is turned off to the board, because otherwise I don't want it to load the external modulation input connection on the uh, generator. I've also put the uh, pots back on the board because the input to the chip is very sensitive. So it's helpful to have a bit of uh, adjustment there. And I'm going to um, put this on the back panel. It uh, came out of an old amplifier. It's a sort of dual phono socket. And that would be mounted roughly there. Because normally I'd use um, screw up, you know, phono sockets with nuts on them, but it's almost impossible to get in there. Um, and I don't want to take the whole unit apart, so I can just about squeeze it in through there and uh, just drill a few couple of holes from the back. And it's got a, just one screw holding it in place, which should be okay. And um, I can. Uh, Conveniently take five volts off the main circuit board. It only draws about 50 milliamps this circuit, so it's not going to cause any trouble there. And the switch to turn it on and off will be on the front panel. There's a convenient blanking plug there, and I can just drill a hole stick a switch in there so i'll get on and do a bit and then i'll show you as i progress through the vid through the uh, operation on this signal generator so i've got the uh, board mounted um on the two screws and and standoffs uh relay looks like it sticks up a bit high but actually it clears the case without any problems and um, there's a terminal sticking up, but that's earthed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I've done the holes for the back panel. Um, that is pretty hard to do. You've got to get your dimensions exactly right. Um, I drilled two small holes to start with there and there and um, reamed it out a bit. Checking it, the alignment was good all the time and then I used a very small round file to enlarge the holes till they fitted perfectly. Um, try not to jam the file into the circuit board when I was filing and let's see if it fits in there. Yep, I think it's fine. And I can put the screw in. Move the camera back a bit. Right, that's done. As you can see, it's not far off perfect, and they're fairly solidly mounted. I'll have a phono cable plugged into that anyway all the time, and just route it round to the front of the uh, unit, connect to it when I want to. So, um, yeah, the other bit was all the blood, all the bloody swarf you get when you're drilling and filing. I'd be really careful 
to get rid of it all afterwards with a hoover. But um, we shall see if it still works later. Now I try and get the front panel off and uh, mount the switch and then do the wiring. Okay, so I got the uh, front panel off the uh, Marconi 2024A, although this one insists upon calling itself an IFR. But I still like to think it's a Marconi. Anyway, I, as you can see, I've mounted the switch on the uh, the uh, blanking plate. Um, blanking plug. I'm not terribly happy with the way it looks. It sort of sticks out a bit on the beveled surface, but it's the best I could do easily. Just have a look at the back of it. And switch contacts. There's a switch down there. Should be fairly easy to get to and fits in quite nicely. Doesn't doesn't uh, get in the way of any other but the board in there or anything. That's a quick look at the back of the uh, the unit. Um, there's the semi-rigid cable, which is um, which is what I had to replace on this because this particular model had the uh, rack mounting option and uh, so the RF output was on the back of the unit. So I had to buy a new cable, piece of cable from uh, China. And it's fairly difficult bending this stuff, but um, unless you've got the right tools, so you've got to get the dimensions really accurate as usual. But I've done a fairly good job of it, and it looks fairly uh, professional, I think, anyway. And um, just put it back over there. And I've got some blue and red wire to wire up to the switch. Best a bit piece of wire pieces of wire I could find. I'm going to stick it in a drill, this piece of wire. That's a good way to sort of twist it together. Stick one end in the vise, other end in the drill chuck, and just put the drill on for a few seconds until it twiddles itself up. Um, makes it look a bit neater anyway. So I'll get on and do that and then I'll probably wire it up and put the panel back on. Okay, at um, this point in the proceedings, um, I've got the uh, front panel back on. I think it's a good idea to see if it still works after all I've done to it. So, um, just push, turn the power on. And, well, much to my surprise, it still works. So, um, the other thing I wanted to do was find a convenient source of uh, 5 volts um, near the front panel. And I've moved the uh, camera, and I'm pretty sure this orange wire here goes on the board there. Is yeah, that's five five volts. So that's what I use as my um, red wire, which will go to the switch. So um, I think our next stage is next stage is to wire the whole thing up. So I've got it all wired up now. I've got the uh, 12 volts to the switch, taking off uh, 5 volts, I mean, off the uh, input to the board there, and routed the uh, red cable into the power connection on the uh, board. And um, I'll just turn it on and uh, see if it works. Just got to set in the uh, FM frequency from the uh, memory. Turn the level down. Um, okay. Switch the uh, encoder on. And up here, my receiver has got its stereo light on. Turn it off again. Stereo signal goes off. And I'm just radiating a low level signal on 87.5. I'll just uh, plug an input to it. I've got some phono cables connected to the stereo input on the back of the generator. So just let me plug in a signal.
like um, just putting a signal from a CD player into it now and um, just turn the volume up. Uh, yeah, I think that's about enough of that. I don't want any of this copyright rubbish. And um, that was a bit of uh, Courtney Love there. So that proves, I think, that it's working fine. So uh, that's basically the end of the video. I'm just going to put it back in its box and put it back to where it lives. So thanks for watching. Bye.